Good morning, everybody. Today is a little bit of a day of anxiety, just a little bit, especially uh, for little wiener. Little wiener's going to the vet. He's got an infected canine that needs to be removed. So he's gotta be put under for it. And that's a little bit risky for him because he's pretty old. He's over 10 years old and he's already had IVDD back surgery on his spine. So uh, we're a little nervous. Dropped him off at the vet this morning. But we trust that he'll pull through and that they know what they're doing. Are you gonna wish your brother good luck? Your brother's gotta go see the doctor. Oh no, I know. You're the man of the hour, man. Your puppy of the hour. You ready for this? I'm never ready for this. It gives me anxiety for days straight. Get your tooth fixed. He's got an infected canine that needs to be removed, and they need to put him under for that. And along since with he's the cleaning. and along with the cleaning too, while he's down. So because he's so old already, and he's had that back injury and spine surgery for his IVDD. His enlarged heart. And he's got an enlarged heart. Mom's a little bit worried. Understandably. Didn't sleep much last night, eh? Or the night before. Or the night before that. Oh. You're gonna be just fine, right, Wiener? You're a strong Wiener. You are the Wiener of this house. You must be strong. So those of you that are new to the videos, Wiener, his name is actually Frank. We have two Franks, that wasn't planned. He was a foster. So he is Wiener now, and he is uh, Sergeant Major General Frank. We're not too sure, each story he tells keeps getting uh, better and better, so. He's got a lot of stories from the Great Milkbone War. He's a veteran. As long as you acknowledge his military experience, he likes you, he'll be nice to you. But don't worry, uh, I mean, be careful though. He's, he's got a mean side to him. You never insult his intelligence or his ability to win. Yeah. So that is Big Frank. That's another name for him. Because he's a little bit bigger than the other Frank. But that Frank has been with Britt since he was like 10 weeks old. Eight. Eight weeks old. And that is uh, her very essence of being. She loves him more than she loves me. So it is in everyone's best interest to keep that dog as comfortable and healthy as possible. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not that intense, but it, it, it's pretty close. He is her absolute best friend, follows her everywhere, goes with her everywhere, and has also gotten her through a lot of uh, tough times in the past. And he even sort of likes me sometimes. Which is, like which is a plus. He is like Weasel to me. Because Weasel's been with me since he was 10 weeks. So he's gotta go to the vet. He's gotta get fixed up. He's gotta go under. We drop him off between 8 and 8.30, which is pretty much right now. We go there and drop him off. And then we pick him up when? Three uh, to four? Between three and four. Between three and four, so he's gonna be there all day. They Let's might hope. call me early again to pick him up. Yeah. He's a trooper, he's been through a lot. He'll be fine, he's a healthy boy. It's just his spine surgery that we worry about. As long as they're careful with him when he's out and they pick him up properly and stuff that his neck where his surgery was doesn't uh, get irritated and stuff. But they know what they're doing, they're the professionals. He'll be just fine. You ready? We're a little chilly. Yeah, it's a little cold out. A little bit of frost on the windows this morning. Mm -hmm. 
So this wasn't an emergency. It was a planned appointment. Last time we had Wiener at the vet, they noticed that he's got uh, an infection in his mouth. And he's been through this before. He has stage four gum disease. So he's supposed to get his teeth done every two years. And he's just overdue by about a month. Diesel has to get his teeth done soon too, but he hasn't had all the uh, struggles that Wiener's had. Surgery and uh, just being small in general. All the meds. All the meds, yeah. His, I keep forgetting his enlarged heart. That's what his pill is for every day in his foods. He has an enlarged heart yet too. And... Wiener dogs are delicate. <laughs> uh, I would not suggest them for family. Yeah, I was just going to say, we probably wouldn't recommend Dachshunds. Not, especially not for children. They are far too fragile and kids are, kids are kids, right? It's not that they're careless, but they're careless. I mean, you know, they yeah. can easily hurt one. And I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend them for, 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 for young families. Well, wiener sure. dogs were bred to be wieners. They, they don't naturally grow that long. They were bred that way in Germany long time ago and their spines haven't naturally evolved to handle that length between ends yeah so when they're you pick them up the average dog yeah when you pick them up you always have to pick up the butt end and the head end otherwise their back gets unnecessary stress and you could actually break their back yeah you, you have to do it very gently they weren't naturally designed or created to uh, look like that we did that yeah humans we uh but they're they're wonderful dogs very very loyal man is he loyal one owner dog remember that if you get one and maybe you're uh, an older couple and you don't have kids at home anymore or you're just uh just a couple no kids yeah sure try you can try it out but remember they're a one owner dog well they can be too he's pretty in love with my mom too and he grew up with her yeah yeah he loves both of you but they'll pick one they'll pick one <laughs> and uh, that'll be their person this dump truck beside us. Fast diggers. I bet you they can dig a hole real fast. That's the that's the company name, Fast Diggers. You need a hole dug? You need it dug fast? They're your guys. I'm starting to notice these local companies more and more often since I'm home more and curious as to uh, all the different trucking jobs in the area. He's got to tighten his chain on the back there. I don't know. We're here. You ready, Wiener? Better question, is she ready? She's not talking. So we got a call inside, and then they're going to come out and get him or meet us at the door. Probably meet us at the door, I think. Good luck, Wiener. We love you. Have a good snooze. Have a good snoozing. There they go. Off to see the good doctor. That little guy's a trooper. He's been through a lot. 
and you wouldn't notice it or you wouldn't imagine just looking at him because he looks like a healthy little wiener he looks young he looks spry so they know about all of his uh, conditions so he should be just fine he should be just fine they know what they're doing they're the professionals they've gone to school for many 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 years for exactly this doesn't take the anxiety away as much but it, it does calm you down I've been very lucky with my boy with weasel uh, he's been a very healthy boy his whole life had only small things like he had a swollen lip once he had to have some antibiotics for that it was a little bit infected uh, but other than that he's been fine so what's the good word he did not want to go in there he was like holding on to the door frame Aww. Poor guy. So when do we pick them up? Do they call or what? Uh, last time they just called me or uh, actually one of the vet techs knows me so she sent me a picture <laughs> and we picked him up early but we'll see. Actually last time we were here I think for anything like this Chevy got fixed and then they called us early and said he was ready. Okay so they'll call us when he's done? When he's ready to be Well yeah up. but it's around 3, 3.30 I'll be here to pick him up if they don't call. Okay. While we're out in the boat, out in the boat, may as well cross one more roadside attraction off our list. After this, we'll have 97 left in Manitoba. There she is. It's a little frosty. Uh, it's a little chilly this morning. A little windy too. Steinbach, it's worth the trip. Ninety-seven left out of one hundred and one. It's not bad. So we'll go see what the plaque over here says. Keep you guys out of the wind the best I can. Steinbach, the automobile city. Steinbach's first car dealership was established in 1914. Other dealerships soon followed. By the 1950s, as a result of aggressive promotion by 19, uh, Steinbach became known as the automobile city. By 1991. With 10 dealerships continuing to offer competitive prices and excellent service, many people from all over Manitoba, Ontario, and other western provinces uh, came to Steinbach to purchase cars and trucks, verifying it's worth the trip. Symbolizing Steinbach's distinction as the automobile city is this 1931 classic Rolls-Royce Roadster, about double the size of the original. It is 40 feet in length, 12 feet in width, 11 and a half feet in height. It was fabricated by John Henry Friesen of John Henry Signs. There she is. Cool. Timmy's? Timmy's. It's the first time I've actually gone up to look at that car that I can remember. It's been there my whole life. Actually, it used to be in front of uh, the mall, but they moved it here when they started building things. There's a Wendy's coming up there now. Love Wendy's. We need a Burger King in town, though, still. The vet just called with an update. What's the My news? Stopped. Oh, you looked scared. panicked there for a second. That scared me. Yeah. No, they just wanted to let me know that he's got some really badly diseased teeth that need pulling. And they just asked for permission to pull them. How many? Uh, four again. But he, they said it's not as bad as last time. But there's definitely some on the bottom that need pulling. And I said whatever's healthiest for him, just pull them. Okay. Oh, my heart. What did they say that made you feel? having a heart attack. You okay? <gasps> I'm okay, I just, I thought it was a bad call. I'm they a did, pessimist. They did call pretty early, it's only like 10.40 right now, so I thought that something had gone wrong. Well, it's because they're in the middle of the cleaning right now. And yeah. Getting the blanket ready for Wiener and his homecoming. His baby blanket, yeah, I washed all his favorite blankets, so he's cozy and nice and clean. He loves fresh blankets. We haven't heard anything from the vet all day other than that one phone call, just letting us know what they were gonna do or getting permission for what they were gonna do. <laughs> so no news is good news in this situation. Yeah. Everything seems to be all right. It is, oh, 
22 minutes and we can pick them up. What you doing over here, Frank? You getting in any trouble? Hmm? You all right? Yeah, it's a colder one today. Oh, this is plus one? Yeah, right. It's plus one. I'm frozen. Lies. That is not right. You sit on the throne of lies. My truck is telling me it's like one degree outside. Well, it's it colder than that. It's just that the wind chill is bad. That wind chill in, in the prairies is always horrible. Yeah, it's so windy. <sighs> We're on our way to pick up Wiener right now. Hopefully that everything's good and trust that they would have called us if there was any problems. Oh, they would have. They're, they're a great bet. He's going to be a little woozy, isn't he? A little druggy. <laughs> a little high. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get him through it. He'll see the purple effluents. <laughs> the rainbow clouds. We're here for our wiener. Have you seen my wiener? <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> yeah. All right. We get our same parking spot back. Alright. Gotta give them a call and see what they say. Yep. Alright. Alrighty, we're gonna have to sell our firstborn child for this one. <laughs> we love our dogs. Darn right. There she goes, gonna go pick him up. Apparently he went through uh went through it very well. Uh he had three teeth on the bottom pulled, one on the top. $725, I believe, was the bill. We love our dogs. <laughs> that little guy. Yeah. The wiener's very important to her. All of our dogs are important to us, but that little guy has been with her, like I was saying before, with her through some pretty dark times, even before she met me. And uh, he's always been her constant, you know? He's... He's not, it's not an official title right now, but he is a therapy dog for her as well. You know, if she's feeling anxious or or depressed or anything, the little guy's always been there for her, so I understand that. Diesel's been like that for me as well, too. So in a few minutes, they should come out of there, and apparently he's awake and wondering where his mom is. <laughs> so do you guys have any stories of when your pets went to the vet? Let me know down below in the in the comments section what kind of vet experience was it and i don't mean just the regular annual shots for distemper or rabies i mean like did they ever have to go in for surgeries or something serious uh where did you take them and how was your experience there and is uh is that pet still around with you today you know we almost lost frankie a little while ago and we were in a real bad spot then too we were in a tight spot and uh, thank God we were able to bring them all the way to Saskatoon for that surgery. Oh, here they come. Here they come. There they are. She is once again whole. Look at her. You can see her smiling through the mask. That's how big her smile is. I gotta get the door for her. One second. Oh. Hey. Got it. All right. That smile is gonna rip that mask right off your face. Watch out. You okay? Oh. Okay. Medicine. Got him. Yeah. He Ooh. wanted out. He ran straight to the door as soon as he saw me. <laughs> Wiener. No, I don't want to talk to you. I blame you. Wiener, how you doing, bud? What are you doing? Watch your face. Oh, they're crying. I'm gonna have to wash your face. Oh my, look at you. I went through all that and you didn't get rid of him. He's still here. <laughs> I'm still here, buddy. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that easy. Good baby. Look at him, he's all dopey. Oh, it's okay. I was being chased by the pink effluents. Effluents? I don't know where they went, so are they in here? I could see color. It was crazy. All right. 
He looks like he's having a good time right now, though. Mm. I'll have whatever he's having. I don't know about that. Should we pull all your teeth, too? Hey, if I get whatever he got. <laughs> he has a an attachment, we'll say. To Brit. They're very bonded. <laughs> they are very bonded. I've never seen a dog and a human bond like those two. I don't know. You don't see how Diesel is when you're not there. Don't get me wrong, he loves me, but when you're not there, it's like a piece of his soul is missing and he just cries constantly. There he is, everybody's very concerned. How is he? How is he? How was he, buddy? How was he? Did you see the f -wombs? I love the f -wombs. Did they stick you with a needle? Tell me, Wav, why did he hurt? Again. Look at him. Diesel is very concerned. I was so worried all day. Oh, it's crowding in around him. Don't worry, you little guy. Chevy, don't touch his mouth. Oh. Aww. Okay, bud. <laughs> Everybody's one. Don't lick his mouth too much, guys. Very sensitive right now. Interesting how they know, right? Well, obviously they can smell the the medicines and stuff that are in his mouth because of his teeth that got pulled, but... Even I can smell them, so if I can smell yeah. them, he can definitely smell them. Another success. You, little wiener. You. You're a lot of maintenance, buddy. You're a lot of maintenance. We, we were talking to them about that this morning, right? About how we wouldn't recommend a Dachshund to people Never. unless if you're like... Uh, single or if you're a couple with no kids or if your kids have already moved out of the house and they are quite a bit of maintenance uh at the vet gets a little pricey but it's worth it for him but just be prepared that if you get a dashend yourself just be prepared for that just running out to grab a few last minute things that we forgot about before so if you haven't already, I'm curious to hear your stories of your pets. I really need to get this truck washed. I'm looking over there, looking, looking. I don't know if there's much of a lineup. Ah, not today, not today. I want to get home before the sun goes down. The sun goes down so early. It's sooner and sooner every day. But hey, December 21st, winter solstice. And then we have Christmas, and then we have New Year, and then the days officially start getting noticeably longer in daylight hours. I've just noticed, noticed that I've uh, dropped a lot of questions for you today, so I expect a lot of comments. Let me know. Let me know. I'm so curious. I'm a curious Josh today. I've got questions. Do you ever just awkwardly roll through nice neighborhoods, dreaming of one day owning a house on that street? <laughs> Look at these homes here. Beautiful. I like to just take little detours every now and then to look at all the houses that I can't afford. Maybe one day, you know? Maybe one day. Oh, I like this one. This one right here with the with the dormers. Beautiful. Oh, this one just sold. Oh, good for them. Interesting shingles. It's like wood shingles. Maybe one day, you know? Maybe one day. Look at these two houses right on the corner here. Look at this dark one. Beautiful homes. That's right, that's me. I'm that creepy guy rolling through your neighborhood. Just looking, just looking. 
you know, Steinbeck's a pretty small town. I mean, apparently it's a city now. I don't know if I believe that or not, but technically I guess we're a city now. It's a pretty small town. We'll take a gander down Hospital Street here. And you guessed it, you're a smart one. This is where the hospital is. This is where Grandpa is. Last we heard, uh, which was update this morning, I believe, from my mom, that he is still doing stable, still eating. Could He could be eating more. That's the main thing that they'd like to see happen right now. They'd like to see him eat more, but you know, he's stable and slowly, slowly improving. And it's the next morning here. I'm just finishing throwing this together for you. I'm going to upload it and release it to you in probably about an hour, hour and a half. It's just 11.30 central time here right now in the morning. And the update from today is that Wiener is tired. He's sore. He's still in some pain. But he's resting and he's doing all right. A little trooper. So... That's that. I want to thank you all for watching today, for all your support and everything through the years. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to end this here, and uh, tomorrow I'm thinking of crossing off another one of our uh, 101 landmarks or so. We'll have to see which one. There's a couple close by here that we could get to within like 20, 25 minutes. So I'm thinking of headed out, checking that out a little bit. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We make new videos every day. Love to have you here every day.